in this presentation we have talk about the concept scattering length in the case of uh, mp scattering at uh, low energies if the energy of the particle is approaching zero then momentum of the particle is also approaching zero once the momentum is zero the phase shift is also approaching zero we know that the propagation of torque k equal to 2 pi by lambda whereas lambda equal to h by mv according to de broglie therefore k equal to 2 pi by h m ter is multiplied by mv this 2 pi by h is 1 by h cross mv is our momentum p so k equal to p by h cross then p equal to h cross k we say p approaches 0 automatically k is also approaching 0 because momentum p equal to h cross some constant into k the low energy scattering is described with the help of uh, the technique partial wave analysis using the concept partial wave analysis we may determine the value of the scattering amplitude uh, f of theta in the case of partial analysis incident wave is a plane wave e power i k is said this plane wave is a superposition of infinity number of spherical waves then l equal to 0 denotes s wave l equal to 1 describes the p wave l equal to 2 is narrated by d wave 3 by f wave and so on the plane wave is a superposition of infinity number of uh, the spherical waves s wave p wave d wave f wave and so on then the individual waves are called uh, partial waves so this is the value of f theta we have arrived from the partial wave analysis as far as the low energy NP scattering is concerned, the value of orbital angular momentum quantum number L equal to 0 is sufficient to describe the scattering process. That means only with the help of S wave alone, we can describe the scattering process entirely. Now, f of theta becomes put L equal to 0, 1 by k e power i delta 0 sin delta 0. Here, p0 of cos theta is 1. Let us define a quantity scattering length A which is equal to limit k tends to 0 minus sin delta 0 by k. This is the formula for scattering length. Here the momentum is approaching 0 which means that the energy of the particle is approaching 0. The scattering length A is defined as the intercept on the R axis and is obtained by extrapolating the radial wave function inside the well beyond the force range see this diagram this is a spiral potential here r represents the distance of separation between the nucleons suppose r less than r0 the meaning is the neutron and the proton is present are present inside the spiral potential and they are in the bound state if the distance of separation between a proton and a neutron is greater than R0, which means that the nucleons are outside the box, then they are in the unbound state. The wave function is having its maximum value at a distance R equal to 1.74 Fermi. Already we described the same in the neutron problem. Therefore, the sweep of the wave function is expected only outside the box. The radial wave function is allowed to intercept on the axis at a particular point. The point of intersection is called the scattering length A. The direction of the intercept is towards the depth of the well that is the meaning for this statement. If the bound state is taken for our consideration, the scattering length is having its positive value. 
if you are thinking about unbound state the scattering length is uh, negative that is minus a the differential scattering cross section sigma of theta is equal to absolute square of uh, f of theta you know the value of uh, f of theta this is f of theta in general then make the square of this 1 by k square into square of the rest of the quantity see this is the case here absolute square of e power i delta l means e power i delta l into e power minus i delta l that is equal to 1 yes you have to multiply the complex conjugate with the same function in order to get the value of e power i delta l whole square see for an s wave scattering the value of uh, l is equal to 0 here put l is equal to 0 we can get 1 by k square sin square delta 0 then p0 cos theta square p0 cos theta square is equal to 1 so this is the value of uh, differential scattering cross section for the s wave now the total scattering cross section is 2 pi into sigma of theta the differential scattering cross section into sin theta d theta integral limit varying from 0 to pi this is the formula 2 pi yes so substitute the value of sigma theta sigma theta is uh, this much 1 by k square 12 plus 1 square sin square delta l integral this sin theta then this pl cos theta whole square d theta this is the standard integral the value of the integral is 2 divided by 12 plus 1 then this is modified as 2 into 2 pi 4 pi by k square then summation over l equal to 0 to infinity 2l plus 1 sin square delta l for an s wave the value of l is equal to 0 because we are talking about the low energy scattering the total scattering cross section for the low energy is sigma 0 total here 0 represents the value of l in this equation put l equal to 0 0 into 2 0 0 plus 1 1 then sin square delta 4 pi by k square sin square delta 0 because l equal to 0 instead of l you have to put 0 this is the total scattering cross section already you had a quantity a which is equal to minus sin del 0 by k therefore this equation is modified as 4 pi a square the value of total scattering cross section for low energy is expressed in terms of scattering like a as sigma 0 comma total is equal to 4 pi into a square 